So the way we're going to do this is we're going to take questions at the end because I want Greg, when he's in the groove of doing his thing, cooking, he, Greg cooks all the time, morning, afternoon, and night. So he's going to be in his groove. He's going to be talking to you about his tips and how he cooks for us and everything. And I want him to do that. Uh, and I'll be helping him as well. So we'll take the questions at the end once he's done. We'll go, I hope we can get to all the questions if there's a lot of questions. Uh, so don't worry, just put the questions in there and we'll take care of it. So thank you, shout out to Farm, Farm USA for inviting us on to do this. Um, it really is a pleasure. Greg loves to, to, to cook and show people how he cooks. So uh, it's a rarity because he's so busy. So. We're lucky to have him. You got anything to say, Greg? It's not really a rarity. I cook every day. I said it's a rarity to be live. You're not talking about a rarity to be live. You see, this is what we go through. <laughs> what are you I'm... doing here now? Like, you're already starting something, and the people are still coming in. Okay, so I've started some spaghetti squash. Um, actually, I have two squashes. Let me put it. Uh, I started some spaghetti squash, and really, I just... Uh, I just doused it with some olive oil and I'm gonna throw some garlic. I'm gonna crush up a little bit of garlic with this. So we're talking about technique, cooking oh. techniques. Don't don't worry y'all, I got y'all, I got y'all, I'm gonna because when Greg is in the cooking, he know he's gonna get into it. So don't worry, I will guide the conversation. So what what is the technique we're gonna be using with this butter and squash? So we're gonna be baking, uh, or roasting I should say. We're, we're gonna be, uh, I guess, baking this butternut squash. Um, I mean, not butternut, I'm sorry, it's a spaghetti squash. That was my fault, I said butternut. See, I don't know nothing. <laughs> <That's tough. laughs> so I, I just threw, I just smashed some garlic and we're gonna kind of roast this, uh, we're gonna roast this spaghetti squash and then we're gonna, uh, we're gonna uh, get the, uh, the strands out of here once it cooks down. Uh, and then we're gonna make uh, like a spaghetti, maybe not quite a, maybe a traditional spaghetti dish. Maybe I will. But anyway, I'm, I'm freestyling a little bit, but we're gonna do something with these strands once it gets done. Um, so I'm gonna really pop this in the oven because I want that to start baking now. And then uh, we're gonna go into the next dish. So I smashed up some garlic, I doused this thing with some olive oil, and then I'm just adding a little bit of salt and pepper to it because it's gonna already be flavored. Once I get done, uh, you can go there, give me this pepper. And so we're just gonna be playing around in the kitchen. I like to freestyle in the kitchen. What does that mean, freestyle? Is that a method? <laughs> it means make it up as you go along, okay? okay. So that's basically what it is. So for you early comers in here, so <laughs> I'm gonna pop this in the oven. Um, let me see if I can. Bang, okay, so you can see just a little bit of it. You can see the garlic in there, olive oil. So I'm gonna pop this in the oven. Can I be on the Sure, you can do that. Thank you. Sure. That's what I'm here for. Okay, well, thank you. It's in the top, are we putting this in the top or the middle? Uh, put, the middle? It down, put it in the middle. Put it in the middle, it. okay, we're putting it in the middle. Put it in the middle. Um, okay, now, I'm gonna do some rice. What, what is the oven supposed to be at? What's the temperature? 400. 400, okay, yes, 400. Yes, I did 400, uh, 400. So you see that jar right there that says jasmine brown rice? So we're gonna make a little bit of rice. Oh gosh. Jasmine brown Turn it rice. Turn around so they can see the label. Jasmine brown rice. Yeah, Greg puts all of his stuff in these, what is these mason jars? So jasmine brown rice, everyone. Had these things for a thousand years. But anyway, so. <laughs> I'm cooking some rice. Um, really, what I'm doing today is <laughs> I'm just cooking for uh, my daughter's lunch tomorrow and a little extra. So that's basically what you're getting today is you're getting um, kind of what I do at night is I prep her lunch. So I cook her lunch every day. Um, so she gets a variety of things. Uh, and tomorrow she's going to have some red lentil stew. She's going to have some rice. She's going to have some spaghetti squash. Um, so she's going to have a nice little deal tomorrow. Can I get two cups of water? Can you fill that up with two cups of water, please? So I'm just putting on some rice. Um, jigga, 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 jigga. I took one cup of rice 
Um, and I have a bunch of grains around here. So I have uh, red quinoa. I got uh, all kind of stuff. Thank you so much, Naja. Man, it's good to have an assistant in here every once in a while. <laughs> so what method is this that we're, we're using right now for this rice? So I'm going to boil this rice. <laughs> what else can you do with the rice besides boil? I'm going to boil the rice. <laughs> we're going to end up sauteing the rice with some vegetables. Um, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna go there. So I'm gonna bring this to a boil, and then I'm gonna simmer it, and I'm gonna let it. Uh, I'm gonna let all the water cook out of it. So right now I'm gonna bring it to a boil with the top off, and then uh, we'll go from there. Do you ever add any like salt or anything to the water or any broth or anything when you're boiling it? Uh, not really, because I'm so used to cooking. Uh, I'm so used to cooking in bulk, in a sense, and I like to do different things. So, in general, what I'll do is I'll cook a batch of rice, a batch of quinoa, uh, a batch of uh, whatever other grain I have in here, and I'll put some in a container. So when I'm ready to cook, whatever day I'm ready to whatever day I'm ready to use it, I'll stir fry some vegetables, then add the rice or whatever. Uh, to that. So I just keep it kind of plain. Now you can, you can add stuff to it. I've added, uh, what's my stuff? Saffron. I've added saffron to it, you know, salt and pepper. You can definitely season this. You can add a broth to it if you like, but me, I keep it real basic cause I'm going to season it once I, once I cook it, you know what I'm saying? Like I like my rice with vegetables and a bunch of stuff in it. So that's just me. Some people just like rice in and of itself, uh, which is cool. I like that too. But just when I'm in here, um, I really prefer to throw vegetables and stuff in with the rice. So I'm just going to let this cook. So that's my, that's my technology. Stop looking so mean. No, I'm right. just like, I'm really in because when you said that about the, I'm like, really, when he talks about his cooking, it's like, I'm in school. Um, I usually like to have my rice by itself and then add the vegetables to the side. He puts everything inside. So we kind of, you know, have, have different ways of, of cooking. So Yeah, the but, people in this house, they tend to eat it before I've even done anything with it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like let, it, let me do my thing with it. No, they got to have some plain rice. And they don't even care. They'll throw some mushroom stock over top of it, you know? Can everyone hear us? I hear somebody's having audio trouble. I just want to make sure, is it just one person? Is it all? Uh, no, okay, good. So our audio is good. It's working. We tested it out, so great. And just for the folks that are coming in, um, we will take the Q&A after he's done with the demo. So if you have actual questions, please put them in the Q&A. Um, I'll be checking the chat, chat all, all so often, but Q&As we'll, we'll answer at the end, okay? Thank you for coming in. Bang, bang. So uh, my next dish, so I got the rice cooking. I got the spaghetti squash in the oven. Um, that's getting down. This is a beautiful kitchen. I love this. Um, so what I did is I have a little pot right here. We're going to do uh, some red lentil stew. Uh, I really like this. My daughter really likes this recipe. So um, I threw a little sesame oil in here, and I'm heating that up. And what does the sesame oil do? It, just it makes life beautiful. Um, I like the sesame oil because it's just a different flavor than olive oil. So I just like a, a little more uh, heartier flavor. And that's what the sesame oil provides. Um, and so I'm going to throw some garlic in here. And we're going to kind of saute this garlic. I mix and mingle. So what you're going to see today is a mix and mingle of different cooking techniques. So we'll use one technique and then we'll take... The results of that and then use another technique to further the dish along so bang so we're throwing this garlic in here i'm gonna let that i want this uh, heat a little high because i want that garlic to bang out a little bit uh and don't mind me i do talk to my food and i talk to all my ingredients so okay so i am throwing some seasonings in this oil because that's what, how what i like seasoning is that what in the yeah. like I'm not gonna, no, I'm not going to let them know. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't. Because you just be adding stuff. And, I know. You know I'm like, okay, what is that's this? The, that's the freestyle. Okay. Just, you just add stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't think about it. You just, uh, how did the Joker put it? How did the Joker put it? He said, I'm like a dog chasing a car. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I, I just do. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I don't rhyme or reason to it. But I think, 
I threw some turmeric in there. That's going to give it a little color, and it's anti-inflammatory. So I like that property. This is a little cumin. So we're throwing some cumin in here. We're throwing some coriander in here. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, man, this is going to be light. I'm going to throw some coriander in here. Okay. And then I'm going to throw some paprika in here. Mmm, mm, 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 mm. This is going to be delicious. I can already smell it, just so you can see a little bit. Uh-huh. Let's make sure I don't spill it. Uh, can you see it? Can you see it? You can't really see it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's hard to see it because I'm like, and then I'm going to throw some onions. So I, I, uh, I like to pre-cut onions, like, because I use onions in almost everything. So I keep some pre-cut onions. Um, so I'm throwing this in here, throwing a little bit of onion in here, <laughs> a lot of onion. And now I'm going to add some salt and pepper to this. Bang. Bang. How's everybody doing tonight? I hope everybody is well. It's so weird to talk and not have people talk to me. So I'm sure Nigel will provide that. So I'm going to let this cook for a couple minutes. Um, I kind of want the I want the garlic to to turn a little golden, and I want the. Mm, I wish y'all could smell it. Oh yeah, it smells really good. Man, you know what I need? You know what I want right now? What can I do? You know that time that's in there in, in the refrigerator? In refrigerator. Yeah. yeah, remember that little container that had the time in it? Remember I asked you for it? Yes, yeah, so it is back. Uh, I don't know. It's on that top shelf somewhere. Oh, okay. you're not gonna open. <laughs> she ain't gonna open a refrigerator. She ain't gonna let y'all see what's. <laughs> oh, I see it. She's not gonna let y'all see the inside of that. That refrigerator got so much stuff. That in refrigerator is a garden, everybody. It's such a garden. There's just so much stuff growing out of there. Fresh produce and you know, putting um the produce in water to keep it fresh. Yeah, it's amazing. Okay, I usually don't do this, but I'm just adding some time. That's part of my freestyle right now. I just thought about it. I just thought about the way it looks. Oh, that's why I need a camera like right here. Okay, so now this is looking beautiful. Bang, so now I'm adding um, some squash. Uh, so this is a kombucha squash. Uh, this is what it looks like on the outside. You may have seen them in whatever grocery store you shop in. But what I did is I, I, I cut it in half. I took the skin off of it. And then I took the seeds out. Now, what I'm going to do later this evening, unfortunately not for you guys, is I'm going to take these are the seeds, as you can see. So I'm going to take the seeds. I'm going to take the pulp. I'm going to rinse it um, and separate the seeds from the pulp. And then I'm going to let that dry out. And then I'm going to roast these seeds so I have, like, some uh, pumpkin seeds to snack on throughout the day so um so that's kind of what i do multi um try to purpose everything bang look at this rice is coming to a boil so we're gonna bring this down a little bit can i get a lid for this yeah over here. it might be one over here um so i'm gonna cut this squash up we're gonna dang yeah that's beautiful so i turned it down low so my rice is cooking um and then let's add some squash i'm gonna cut this squash into chunks Oh yeah, oh yeah! Plant-based whole foods. I love this. I love this particular squash. I mean, I love butternut. I love any of the winter squashes. Uh, you know, pumpkin. Oh look, we got some leftover seeds. Um, the the eat pumpkin, uh, butternut, acorn, kombucha. I always like these squashes. They're very good for your digestive system. Um, but I like this one even more so because it's creamier. It's, it's just like when it cooks down, it's a little creamier uh, than the other squashes. A uh, little bit different flavor profile. So I really like this squash. Uh, what else? But it's hard to cut into. So my little guy tried to get away. i get a little bit more. You know, it's not going to work. We're going to have to take some questions. Someone's saying, what is it? I'm, I'm going to go through this and look at some of the questions so Greg can answer it. What is it? The kombucha? Yes. That. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Lisa, for answering the question about the pre-peeled garlic. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. someone asked if it was whole or uh, pre-skinned. Yeah, it's pre it's <laughs> So it's pre-skinned because we live over top of the restaurant, and so we get these big containers of garlic. So, yeah. So sometimes I sneak down there and grab some stuff. So that's what I did this time. So we can already add these red lentils in here. Dang, so I got a cup of red lentils. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Oh. Deanna oh. asks, what are your tips for always making perfect rice? Okay. So you take uh, this finger, not the middle finger. You take this ring finger. You put it down over top of the rice. The first line on your finger, that's where your water should come to. Uh, so you take this finger. This first line, you put your finger over top of the rice, and this line right here, that's where your water should come to. So that's how I do it. Uh, Kim says a rice cooker. <laughs> you already, you already hey, know. Kim. You got a, know. a rice cooker. Awesome. <clears throat> um, can, you, can I get two cups of water? Sure thing. Now I can put Naja to work. Thank you so much. Um, so I'm going to add two cups of water to this. And we're going to add my favorite. Uh, we're going to add some coconut milk. Uh, we're going to add some, uh, yeah, can I get the coconut milk, one of those cans of coconut milk? And then, man, Open it up. Dang, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so do you want me to show them the coconut milk? Okay, so uh, we're putting, this is, are you putting this whole can of coconut I'm not using milk? A, uh, I may not use a whole can, but I'm using a good portion of it. Okay, so he's putting this coconut milk. Don't ask me for measurements, y'all. Please don't ask me for measurements. He said, please don't ask him for measurements. He doesn't do measurements. I do sometimes, but not all the time. It's just, it's based on, it's, a lot of times it's based on what it looks like, what it tastes like. So I may add more or less, you know, sometimes the coconut milk looks funny. In the refrigerator on the door, there's some spaghetti. There's um, some, uh, don't worry about me. There's some, uh, uh, Tomato sauce. Okay. Uh, I need some tomato sauce. Okay. This one? Yeah, that's organic perfect. Organic Tuscan vegetable. That's perfect. Okay. Organic Tuscan Bang. vegetable. So you are on. Let me see that right there. So, okay. So I'm just adding some tomato sauce to this. Bang. Bang. Okay. Now we're going to bring this to a boil. And we're going to let this cook. Um, you can go here because I may use you later and I may need this coconut milk later. So I'm going to let you sit right there. Hmm. So that's what we're going to slide you over here. Okay. Okay. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is how you use all of your burners at the same time. Okay. You're going to come to a boil. Okay. Who's up next? Kabacha squash. There Kibacha, was some... is that what I don't know how to pronounce it. Kabacha squash. Kibacha. Clarity. Okay, let me know. Thanks, Lisa. It's a bomb squash. It's the bomb. Tick, tick, boom. Ooh. John Michael, I see your question. We'll get to that after the demo. That has to do with the restaurant. Oh, mm, mm. Okay, now, you got work to do, sweetie. I'm sorry. Okay, give me so, work. So, so. So, so sorry. Okay. Is there a yellow pepper over there? Right there. There's I a see pepper. red pepper. There's no yellow one? No, is it in the refrigerator? There might be one in the refrigerator. It should be one. Either a yellow one or an orange one. That's fine. I don't need the red one right now. Orange one? Yeah, you can give me an orange one. Okay. Dang. So now we're going to do some greens. Now, okay. So for the greens, what I'm gonna do is, I'm doing something uh, like a Kenyan recipe. Uh, it's called Sukumawiki. Wiki. That's what they call it in Kenya. Uh, so I'm just doing a variation of that. Um, you know, cause there's different ways you can season your greens. Uh, and then I'm just gonna have to get me some greens in a second. Okay, from where? In the refrigerator. I don't know where my greens are. Bang, so again, smashing some garlic. How many? Three? And I threw some uh, some of the dark sesame oil, toasted sesame oil Three in the pan. Three. How many? Like more than that. <laughs> you need like a big handful. 
like a decent size head. Let me see what you have. Yeah, that'll do. That'll work. That'll work. This is what the dinosaur hair. Yeah, something like that. So to soak up my wiki, we're gonna season the pan. I got some turmeric. Uh huh. I have some cumin. Dang, this is having, I wish I had. Oh. You know what? That's funny. <laughs> That's how much I use the cumin. That joint is gone. Can you hand me that other? This a little container of cumin right over there, next to your big thing right there. That's a, not a big thing. It's, no, the cumin, not the oh, cumin. It's called a pressure cooker, Greg. Greg doesn't like to cook with equipment. He likes to cook from the I like the pressure cooker. <laughs> pressure cooker. So, uh, just opening this cumin up. Bang. Bang. Okay, here we go. So, turmeric. I did some cumin. What's the technique we're using here? We're using uh, oh, man, we're going to, man, you can call it sauteing. I guess you could call it sauteing right here. Sauteing. I forgot we're talking about technique. I'm just cooking. I don't know. Eh? That, that's why I'm here to, yeah, to know. Me, you know, we point, need please. the techniques of what's going on. Oh, that smells good. That smells so good. Okay, so I got a little coriander. Bang, bang. And we're going to use a little paprika here. Bang, bang. And we're gonna use um, onion powder. Does anybody watch football that, that is on here? I'm just curious about how people feel about Tom Brady announces his retirement and then he wants to come back. Stay retired, son. Tampa Bay don't need you. They need you. Yes, um, Judy, the Instapot cooks great rice i really need help with it though because i'm trying to figure that whole thing out carla says stay retired sick of brady <laughs> oh man yeah me too let's get some new blood out here i know but i like the fact that russell wilson is now in denver playing with the broncos i'm curious to see how that goes there's been a lot of quarterback movement the uh, the Washington Commanders. That's gonna take some getting used to. They have a new quarterback. I'm not sure about this Carson Wentz guy. How he's gonna do? Okay, Eric. I see your question. Um, I What's think that? Greg is gonna do some frying. So are you doing some frying in yeah, this technique? And we, we I'll get to that question when he does the frying. Right? Dang. Salt pepper. So. Dang, a little bit of pepper. What am I going to do? Huh. It smells good in here. I wish we had smell of vision, really. <laughs> they got it on Futurama, though. Nobody watches Futurama. <laughs> Anyone watch Futurama? <laughs> Nobody watches Futurama. It's just me. I'm the only weirdo in me. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm going to cut up a uh, sweet pepper, orange pepper. I'm going to throw this on. Can you talk that to me? Get these seeds up out of here. I'm gonna cut these. This is, I don't know, it's more so for color, but my daughter really likes sweet peppers. I don't know why my daughter's, I don't know, she don't like carrots, but she likes these peppers. And she likes Brussels sprouts. I should have made some Brussels sprouts, but I didn't buy any. Okay, I'm sorry. That would have been nice. Okay, so we're throwing these uh Sweet peppers up in here. Yeah, she's got a different type of palate. I'm not really sure how to describe what she likes and when she likes it, you know? She's very thick. Yeah, she is. A, but I guess all kids are. They like what they like. Bang. She likes blueberry muffins, but don't want to eat blueberries straight up. <laughs> she don't want them in her oatmeal. She just want her oatmeal straight up. But I just throw some strawberries up in that oatmeal. Okay. Uh, you can throw this out. Okay. We can slide this to the side. Okay. There we go. There we go. And a shell. Definitely shell. I'm going to show you as much as I can so without spilling. Yeah. I'll take it over here. Okay. Bang. There we go. Okay. You stay there. And then we're going to cut these greens. Man, that's slamming, yo. Okay. 
Okay. Let me show them what it looks like. Greg's being humble over here. Okay, so that's the combination of uh, items that he put. Dang, so I'm just kind of cutting these greens really thin. What pans are we using? What pans? Uh, just some. <laughs> my sister-in-law bought me some some new pans. So that stuff don't stick to them. That's the key. So what? Stuff. So the food doesn't stick to it. You know, some pans uh, they have, you know, they stick. You know, I mean, you can use a nonstick pan, but just you gotta you gotta watch the temperatures on your food. You know, so it depends on what you're cooking. You may add, you may you may need to add a little more liquid to what you're cooking in order for it not to stick. And that's that's the biggest thing. Mm. Yeah. So for this one, you put that was the toasted sesame oil in there. You yeah, I did okay. the toasted sesame oil. Uh huh. And, and um, okay, our daughter's nine. Is, our daughter's nine, so she's not nine, she's I mean, 10. ten. She just turned ten in January. See, you know, I'm behind. Um, thanks for the question, Selma. Hey, yes, my daughter wants to learn how to cook. Okay, okay. And we got these greens getting ready to pop off. Are we cooking with mushrooms today? Uh, maybe. maybe maybe judy i see your question if he does something with the mushrooms well i'll um bring that question up otherwise right. we'll answer it at the end Thank can you, you give me the mushroom stock but where is the that on, in the refrigerator on the door okay i'm gonna cook with a little bit of mushrooms in this i am gonna cook with some mushrooms okay so then you can answer judy's question and i'll okay, let's do ask it again since we're working on the mushrooms uh, what do you do with mushrooms? Yay, Judy got the million dollar question right here. This is exactly what he does. Can you tell Judy what you do with the, the mushrooms? So I made a, I made a mushroom stock. Uh, you can see there's a bunch of vegetables in here. Uh, I basically stir fry. I, I just took a bunch of vegetables that I had in the refrigerator. Carrot, there's some zucchini in here, onion, garlic, and of course some, uh, some button mushroom and maybe some little baby portobello mushrooms. And so I, I threw some water around that, seasoned the whole thing. Uh, it's some, um, what is it, spring onion that's in here. So I cooked that down and I made this nice little mushroom stock. Now I use this in a couple of different ways. Like I'm gonna add it to these greens. So instead of just adding water to let this kind of steam up a little bit, I'm gonna add this mushroom stock. Um, but I also use this as a soup. So this is in the, this big jar is in the refrigerator. And if we want some, if I want some soup late at night, um, that's generally when I have soup, then I will, I will just throw this in a pot and just turn it up to a good temperature, let it heat up. And then I have some soup already made. So that's what this is for. So we're going to add this too. And I love it with rice. Uh, one night he, it was a freshly brewed, mushroom broth and i just put it in the brown rice she didn't even let me that was dinner that was dinner <laughs> she didn't even let me just mm. sometimes sometimes you want your stuff to sit and settle for a minute before people eat it you know what i'm saying like you has gotta you know it's one thing to cook it but it's another thing for it to just just marinate for a couple seconds after it's done. You know what I'm saying? It's got to rest. It's like it's like your food been working out on the stove. It's been hustling and cooking, and now okay, it need a little breather for a minute. Okay, but no, she want to run laps with the joint. <laughs> Damn. Damn, son. All right, let me get a lid for you. And drop the stuff. That's why I, I, I told him to let me do it. So I'm focus on that. Just I know. Chill I'm, out. I'm just hard. Chill out. I'm just hard. That's hard. him just controlling the kitchen because he doesn't want me in. This is unusual for me to be in the kitchen with him like this. It's just the energy's crazy. <laughs> Too many people in the kitchen. Like, get them out of the it's way. just me, you, and uh, everyone on the farm Zoom. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> it's me, you, and I. And 150 people. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Milton Mill, Renee Mill says to eat mushrooms every day. Well, I hope so because I love mushrooms. Eat mushrooms? Why, Dr. Mills? He's not on there. That's somebody saying oh. that. Oh, okay. I was going to say, like, why eat mushrooms every day? 
some I mean, research to do. Yeah, that's homework. If anyone has that answer, please let us know, Kim Delgado. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Man, all right. So now this red lentil stew is starting to boil. So I need a lid for this red lentil stew. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I need two things. Small one. Small, small one. Mm -hmm. And now my daughter's trying to creep downstairs and be sneaky because she want to be seen on the TV. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Bang! Good. There she go. All right. Is that the, the Yes, that's perfect. That can sit Okay, there. they were asking about you. You want to show yourself and say hi and, and uh, tell them how great it is that your daddy cooks for you every day? <laughs> say hi and that's hey. it. Come, come this okay, way. This go way. this way. Go this way. All right. Have a go good one. Way. What do you need? Yes. You okay. need something? Okay. No, you just want to hang out? All right. We're in the middle of the of a demo here. It's okay. So. It's okay. Okay. Um, let's do this. Okay. Can you take that uh, that cauliflower, mm -hmm. right, and rinse that off for me? And then, so I think I'm gonna do some something with cauliflower. Somebody said hi. Okay. She likes Roblox. <laughs> Do we have to say that? I had to say that. I had to Daddy, let know. no one needs to know that. Everybody needs to know that. All you know right. You're such a cutie. So we get ready to do something with um, some cauliflower. That might be kind of slick. Bang, look at that. Dusty. You need old. all of this stuff? No, nah, you can take those You can take those leaves off. So this is part of my freestyle. Like I, I got the cauliflower because I figured like I was going to do something with it. Is this a rescued cauliflower? Uh, I don't know. Okay. I have no idea. We do a food giveaway every Monday from 4 to 5 p.m. in front of the restaurant. So it's an organization that comes bring, that comes and brings uh, produce that was getting ready to be thrown away. Food Rescue Baltimore. So they rescue produce. Yep. Okay. So get thrown away. Okay. All right. Um, so you, I'm going to you right here. And then those bowls that are in here, those mixing bowls, I need uh, two of those. Large ones? No, no, no. You can do the small ones. Look like the yellow one? Yeah. The one. Uh, or the silver one? Yeah, the silver one and the yellow one. Okay, hand me that one. Okay, it's part of my freestyle. Don't worry, my food is coming along nicely. Okay, we got this red lentil stew that's popping off. Bang, bang. Oh, oh, I forgot to add something to that red lentil stew. Okay. I got something called garam masala. I don't know if y'all know about that. Bang, look at that. That joint looks pretty, yo. Okay. 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 Mmm, smell it. Okay, so I got some garam masala. That's going in here with this. Who's up next? So should I get you ready? Let me just check on this squash real quick. Hold tight, people. Hold tight. And how long does the squash usually need to stay in there? Eh, 45 minutes. 45 so. minutes at 400 degrees. Okay. I mean, it might not even be that long, but I'm just checking it to make sure it's soft. As a matter of fact, I know y'all can't really hear me, so that's okay. I got a four. That's why I wanted to make it five there. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, I just want you to cook a little. You're going to be almost done. Okay. Okay. Okay, so he's talking to his food. Give him a moment. I mean, you, I mean that's a good technique, talking to your food, because you got to, when people cook, if they don't cook with love in the food, the food doesn't really come out good. So anybody that knows, that cooks, knows that. Okay. Man, we should have some Jay Dilla playing in this joint. Okay, so that's good. That's y'all. Okay, okay. Bang. Can you get me some flour? Flour, okay. Yeah. That flour and that salsa water right there behind those noodles. Okay. Where you put those noodles at? Behind those should be a, here. It should be no, it should be a big bag of flour. That's why I don't like people in the kitchen with me. I just like to cook by myself. I just do because they don't know what they're they don't, they don't cook, they don't do none of this stuff. Huh? Let me you go talk to the camera. I'll come. The whole, the whole. I got it. Go, go, go. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. That's why I said they have all this stuff. I don't know. What happened? And then you want the salsa water in the refrigerator. I want the salsa water in the refrigerator. Yeah. Huh? Oh, that's I'm, not, it. That's good. I'm not talking about you. Never that. 
So, yes, you can do this gluten-free, uh, but I don't have any gluten-free flour with me right now. I should have got some from the restaurant. But, man. That is the water I want. You didn't drink it, did you? No. That's what happens. You get stuff, and then they start using it for their own thing. Um, bang! I need one of those cup, one of those measuring cups from out of there, like the like one a cup. cup. Yeah, give me that cup, like a big one. It don't matter. Cup. Yeah, that's good. That's perfect. That's perfect. Give me the purple. Give me the purple. Okay. Give me the purple. Okay. So much stuff going on. Hope y'all are having a wonderful day. Okay, I'm gonna play around a little bit. Chef D. Brown is in his natural element. He doesn't even realize that this is live right now. He's just going through Ooh. the motions. You. That's what you said? No, I'm saying that. Oh, man, look at you. Okay. Yes, mmm, garam masala, right? Uh, what you know about it, what you know about it. I'm glad mushrooms have all of these great sources of uh, nutrients because I love them. <laughs> oh, that's right. Okay. This you can put to the side for right now, right over there. Bottle the plants, because we're going to need it again. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to mix up this flour a little bit. What technique is this? Is this a technique? This is going to be part of the deep frying, but. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Bang, bang. A little salt. Where you at? A little pepper. Um. Uh, Gonna throw a little bit of cumin. Okay, I should have threw some. Uh, hmm, that's funny. A little bit of cumin. Okay, we're just playing around. We're just having a good time. This is what I do. Now I will have food for the next day or so. Okay, we got a little bit of cumin and a little bit of paprika. Bang bang. Okay. You're witnessing it now. He doesn't use any measuring. He's just sprinkling things in there. <laughs> Sprinkle me, Mike. If you can name where that's now, now, what is the sparkling water supposed to do? Um, we're just using a liquid because uh, I want a little bubble to it. Um, okay. But wow. we're just using a liquid. I don't know. Because I've read it somewhere. Um, we're just using a liquid just to create a little base here. Okay. So Greg is a self-taught chef. He just said that because he read it somewhere. It's a lot of things that he well, okay. because he, Yeah, please explain. Okay, okay. basically, uh, I, I wanted to do a beer batter, right, for this cauliflower slash, I was doing banana flour. I was making like this mock fish out of banana flour. And so uh, it, the recipe originally was like a beer batter in which, okay, I can do that. However, I have a 10 year old, eh, you know, so I, <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know. I mean, not that she's going to be drunk off the beer batter or whatever, but I just wanted a little lick. I just wanted something similar to that, that frothiness that you get from the beer. So, so we're just mixing this up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. I might need a little water because I'm. Sounds like it looks like you've been drinking. Yeah. Okay. Can just you, a little um, bit more. How much water? Uh, just fill that up. A no, I'm not just doing that. Okay, we're gonna get See, that's water. what you get. You ask for an assistant, and then they don't do what you tell them to do. That's what happens. Just a little <laughs> cup of water. You have a cup there. Just a little bit. Okay. Just a little yeah. Okay. Yeah. You got it. Is this good? Huh? No. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that'll be, be fun for now. You're all right over here. <laughs> Is anybody else married? <laughs> <laughs> Let me give you some tips. <laughs> uh -huh. Sprinkle me, man. There we go. All right. Okay, there we go. That's okay, right. so you, we, this is, we're getting to the deep frying. You're going to be frying what right now? I'm going to be frying the cauliflower. The cauliflower. So while you're going to be working on that, uh, Eric Lindstrom, who's the executive director of uh, Farm, he wants to know tips on how to dust tofu cubes with cornstarch before frying. 
he always ends up with a lot of deep fried clumps of cornstarch and can, can never get a perfect crisp outside uh, to to his uh, firm tofu cubes like at uh, his it, favorite restaurants. Keep it light. Keep your dusting really, really light. Um, that's my best tip is to like keep it really, don't try to be, don't try to be heavy and you got to mix it really, really well. Um, sometimes what happens is, is you got to mix it well, but sometimes what happens is, is the tofu will tend to break apart. So even if you squeeze some extra liquid out of your extra firm tofu or your super firm tofu, uh, you know, it can break off and then it can break off with the flour. So it's best to be really gentle with it and mix it with the, um, even, uh, you may not even want to do it in a bowl. You may even want to just take each individual piece and just kind of turn it over a little bit so that you get uh, a nice crispiness and none of the flour is just kind of breaking off of it. Um, so I would say that that's probably my best tip for that. Um, Cause yeah, I, I feel you. I've definitely had that occasion happen to me. Um, the beer of uh, Bernadette uh, asks, is the beer batter used in the restaurant's cauliflower? Now, one time we had the deep fried cauliflower. That was years ago. Um, we don't do the cauliflower here at the Land of Kush. We but will again one day. But um, but I didn't use the beer batter in the restaurant uh, just because alcohol can go missing really quick. So, um, <laughs> you know, so... I didn't want that issue. So I just, you know, I just let them play around with it. And it's easier in a restaurant when you got a certified deep fryer as opposed to you trying to do stuff in the house. I mean, I could probably air fry this, uh, but I haven't used the air fryer yet. So I yep. know I'm behind. There it goes again. He doesn't like the use of equipment. Everything <laughs> has to be on the stove. I have used the air fryer. So I like playing around with it. What did you make equipment. with the air fryer? I made some fryer. deep, uh, some tofu, air fried tofu. Did you? Yeah. You did tofu? And French oh. fries and Brussels sprouts. You did French fries? You did not do French I fries. Did French fries you did not. Fries. You did not. How'd you do the French fries? You just put it in there, put some oil, and then you it's leave it in there. Fine, this is, wait a minute, this is not my tips demo, it's yours. I'm just asking. No, okay, like, I'll give you some tips. Yeah, that's, that's all I did. I mean, I'm still playing around with uh, some techniques. Oh, I'm throwing it away. No, 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 I'm throwing it away. Okay. Uh, okay. Techniques for the air fryer. Okay, the rice the rice is almost done, so I'm taking the lid off and I'm letting the rest of the liquid cook out. Um, because obviously, if you leave the lid on, it keeps that liquid circulating in there. This is how you get in trouble with a hot mess of stuff in your kitchen. But we just gonna play around with this. Bang! A hot hot mess. That's okay. okay. I'm gonna let you get there. I'm gonna let you get here. I'm gonna let you get here. And I need a little pot. I got it, I got it. I got it, master assistant. Okay, and I'm using some safflower oil for the deep fry. Why? Because when I started, <laughs> when I became vegan, that's what I started using was safflower oil. I became vegan, uh, well, I was working towards becoming a vegan, then I found this book on macrobiotics. And uh, it had like 500 recipes in there by this lady named Christina Perello. And so um, cooking the whole foods way, but it had like 500 recipes in there and it was based on macrobiotics. And so that's how I kind of got started was, um, you know, she was suggesting safflower oil. So, bang. Okay, so we're gonna let that oil heat up nice and righteously okay and then i'm gonna get some more of this flour talk to them for a second while okay all right any questions um i enjoy recipes that use simple tools and ingredients if i can't make it on top of my stove or in my oven i probably ain't making it out plus i don't have room for extra appliances yes so uh, we got a lot of appliances in here and i and, and that's because you know we have a vendor that uh, gives us appliances every year around Christmas time. So we actually got the fryer, the, the air fryer, the pressure cooker, so much stuff for free. So, um, yeah, I like to use and play with these toys. Hey. 
Okay, so these greens is cooked. I want the liquid to cook out of these greens. All right. Okay. What, else? what other questions? Can Any I other questions? Um, that's anything. Why I like, that's why I, I mean, like to talk to are you getting uh, what you need out of this? I mean, keep the questions coming. I know uh, Greg can be entertaining, but we're all here to learn something. That's what I've been told. Right, Lisa? Uh, <laughs> okay. Rice looks good. I need a fork. You want to show the rice? Don't okay. touch. See, they always want to dip in. They always want to touch this stuff. I just need a fork. Oh, yeah. That looks really good. The perfect rice. I'm just forking it up a little bit. And I'm letting this water cook out. Okay. And then I just need to check this. Can I show the can... greens? What's, this is the simmering? This is the simmering. Okay. Yes. Multitude of techniques. So the greens are simmering. That's the one that had the uh, the peppers and all that in there and uh, the mushroom broth. So it's looking really good. And I know it's going to taste really good, too. Watch yourself. Okay. That's the red lentil stuff. Yeah, so I'm going this to cook out. Look at that. That's how it is. Crazy, what you need? Huh? Yeah. You curious? Okay. So what techniques okay, have now. we covered so far? Lisa's asking. So we did we did uh, baking, we've done boiling, we've done some sauteing, we've done simmering, and as soon as this oil heats up, we're gonna do a deep fry, and we're gonna finish up in just a few minutes. Let me just check my my uh, my people in the oven. Do we ever use kale for cooked greens? That was kale that you just saw. It was dinosaur kale, right? Yes. That's dinosaur kale that you just saw uh, that I put up. So we always use the kale for cooked greens. Uh, and the favorite oil, and uh, was the was it the toasted sesame oil? Yeah, the toasted yes, sesame, sesame oil seed, is yeah. my favorite. Oh yeah, that looks really good. Christina has a PBS vegan uh, cooking show now. Atlanta Kush should have a national cooking show. Shh. Okay, well, let's work Working on it. On. <laughs> you get Greg more work to do. <laughs> Greg said reach out to him. <laughs> All this right, Lisa, that start. answers your question. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's see how it's, well, I'm going to show you in a minute. Let me finish. I'm John Michael, I got you. I need that oven there. <laughs> yeah, because this is really, really hot and I can't hold it with one hand. So I have to do two. <laughs> Got it. Like I'm baking pizza. That's right. Okay. I should have did the pizza. That's what I should have did. Okay. And that, I we'll did do the that pizza. Other time. Yeah, I should have did the pizza. Okay. So, bang, bang, bang. Little technique. Let's see. It's not quite ready. Okay. So okay, so talk about that with the, the deep frying there. What is happening now? So I just put a I just put a pinch of flour into the oil for the deep frying. Um that kind of lets me lets me know whether or not it's ready. It'll it'll start to it'll bubble up if it's ready. Bang, that is ready. I need to taste up oh, I need to taste the red lentil stew. Bang, look at that. That joint just came out. Huh? The metal. Can't be a metal stew. Okay, thank you so much. My other assistant. My daughter wants to. She won a contest, a cooking contest with Fanimal, with uh, Fanimal for uh, some uh, Ezekiel tofu nugs. Why are we frying the cot and not baking it? What other foods should be fried? You can do tempeh. Tempeh is great fried. Why am I frying the cauliflower? I don't know. Just because. I'm just playing with it. I'm just. I could bake it. Yes, I could have baked it, but I was baking the spaghetti squash. So. And what other foods do you fry or should be fried? I mean, generally, I don't use the frying technique that often. Um, I want the rest of that coconut milk, but I want you to cook out and I need a little salt. I want a little heat for that. I want some heat for that. Okay. Okay, okay. Don't get mad at me. I'm talking to the food. Don't get mad at me. And cauliflower fried is, you know, a lot of times I know uh, places are frying it and, you know, like if you, the general souls tofu, a lot of times they fry it, you know, with the batter and then they, um, 
uh, put the sauce on it. So. Hey, look at you, little salt. Hey, how are you? Okay. Demo of Land of Kush crab cakes would have been <laughs> golden. Y'all are my go-to for whenever, whenever I'm in DC, New York. Well, I'll tell you this: there's going to be something coming out Friday with uh, just a demo of um, the Land of Kush crab cakes uh, being skillet pan fried. We'll share it on uh, social media when it comes out Friday. <laughs> You about done. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Say hi. Okay, and they watch him, Daddy. They're trying to see what Daddy's doing. Do we you need me to move some stuff out of the way? Uh, nice. I just want you to stay and stay. I want you to stay by. Do you need me to take anything out of the way? Stand by. Uh, you in the rear. I want you to step to the rear. But that's going to be nice and slick. What I will need is uh, a plate with some paper towels on it. Okay. Is this big enough? Huh? No, no, no. Bigger? Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Sure. That's fine. This is what happens when you don't have enough counter space to cook a 20, 20 things at a time. So, okay. I'm figuring it out. What you can also do is turn that oven off. Okay, turn it off. Yeah, because that's about done. That's about done. Okay. So let me just pray. All right, wait, okay, fine. Just, okay. No, just put that right okay. over there right now. I would like this oil heat up a little bit more. Okay. And since this spaghetti squash is almost done, we're gonna um we're gonna toast some vegetables with the spaghetti squash. Bang. I need big counter space. I need big counter space. Okay. That's what I need in my kitchen. What's the okay. difference between pan fried and deep fried? Oh, great question, Lisa. I'll answer that. But pan fried, you're just putting oil in the pan, you know, not too much like what Greg has done with uh, the, the sauce pan and putting a lot of oil in it. It's just low, shallow. You put your patty or whatever it is that you're going to pan fry, and, and that's it. You don't submerge it in the oil. So the deep fry also... Okay. Yeah, so the deep fry is also a quick cooking method, um, whereas the saute is a little bit longer cooking method. Um, so it's really meant to be really quick, really brief. It's not, to, it's not meant to be just deep fried for a long period of time so you really soak up a bunch of oil. It's supposed to be really quick, um, flash, you drop it in, let it crisp up really quick, take it out, drop it on a napkin, and then it's done. Um, so Yeah, Lisa, what he said. <laughs> that That's why he's leaving it. <laughs> I'm glad P is down here because P is going to be in charge of cleaning the kitchen. Excuse me. I'm not, I'm not cleaning it. So I took some of the toasted sesame oil. I threw some onion and garlic in here. We're going to keep this real, 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 real simple. Um, bang, 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 bang. Salt, pepper, salt, pepper. Okay. There's that salt. I see the pepper. Okay. I know you don't know what to do with yourself, do you? Who? Cool. You. I do. I'm just making sure we're on time with this hat. And I'm glad we're answering the questions as we go along. Yeah. That was a good yeah. idea. You know, see, improvise. Improvise. Freestyle. Yeah. That's what it is. It's a freestyle. Okay. Bang. So that's that. And then I want a little bit of carrot. Okay, is that okay, Pia? What are you looking at? Mm -hmm. Just looking at Pia. Hey, can you step back from here, from there for me, please? Because I got the knife in my hand, so. Okay. Ah, oh, celery. Let me get a little bit of celery, please. Let me get it. Give me the newer one. Give me the newer one, the, the big one. Okay. I want the old one. Get ready, get busy. You got your celery here, Mrs. Thank you so much, man. You're not welcome. <laughs> Move back. Here, step over to my left. Over to my left. Okay. What do you need so far? Uh, this is going to be for the spaghetti squash. Okay. Bang. We're going to clean this up real quick. In the next 10 minutes. Huh? Spaghetti squash. Man, I don't know what techniques y'all use. I use everything. <laughs> 
Don't play games with the kids. Well, that'd probably be a good question. No, no, not you. You don't go here. For us to ask. Yeah, hand me that red can pepper. Talk about the art of saute and yeah. what ingredients can be sauteed. Just about everything can be sauteed. Okay. Um, the art of sauteing, I mean, I don't know. I love it because it's quick. Um, I can be versatile with it. I can do so much. Um, so that's why I like sauteing. Because I, I saute, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to say everything, but, you know, a lot of stuff I do saute. So, uh, and there is a there is an art to it, you know. I wanted these. I wanted a different cut. The real art is cutting vegetables. You know, they say you vegans, we vegans, blow through knives really quick. Oh, no, I'm not. I thought you was going to eat it. <laughs> All right, so you, you know, pop them out of the oven. Yeah, I need counter space. They say us vegans always blow through knives because we always cut these hard vegetables. What knife brand do you prefer? I don't have a knife brand. If you can suggest one, it would be great because I just go through these. Um, I just go through knives so quickly. Uh, it's crazy because I cook. I mean, I'm always cutting hard yeah. things. Thank you for that, Pia. Uh, Pia, uh, thank you, Carol, for the question. And Pia, thank you for letting us know about the question. Uh, so we have a comment here, Selma. Sounds like many of you may already know this. But I'm curious about your plant-based journey and also how your daughter feels being a vegan at her school. Our family transitioned about two years ago, and our four-year-old is only vegan at his school. So, Pia, why don't you answer that for how do you feel being a vegan at your school? Um, and don't think, be shy about it. Just tell the I truth. Think, um, I feel um, because the, the school I go to is called the TNCS, and, Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> and all my classmates are eat a lot of meat and when I and it feels like to be the only one in my school who's vegan it really isn't like and being the only black girl in there uh because there's not really much black kids in there it feels like 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 I'm just in a school with no one really knows what's in the world <laughs> We go to a vegetarian school, the New Century School. Um, so, you know, the school provides vegetarian food, but of course, Greg cooks for her every day. So some kids might be vegetarian. Uh, most of them do eat meat. Uh, and like she said, she's uh, the only Afro-Latina in the school. So, uh, and then her parents own a restaurant. So pretty, pretty uh, unique, unique. Situation, situation for her. What? She is pre what? Precious. She's precious. precious. Thank you. And what's that question? Okay. Oh, Woodstock is an excellent knife brand. That's oh. what Lisa is Woodstock. saying. Thank you for the question, Selma. Thanks for sharing. Okay. My whole dress code switch. Okay, go ahead. So so let Daddy finish what he's doing because we're almost finishing up, okay? So, just in case you want to All get right. away from it. There's one last question while you're doing that, and I think we can answer th answer this as you close it out. Yeah. Okay. Well, we got one more. No, that's just a chat. Uh, uh, that's just a comment. Thank you, Lisa, for the recommendation. Okay. Uh, John Michael, what, what te technique do you use to make the satan satan in the barbecue? barbecue? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I can't tell all my my secrets. Um. But it's, it's a mix of seitan and soybeans. So that'll give you a little bit of something here. What are um, you doing? Are you showing them that? Can oh, you show man. Them what's going this on? joint is blazing, though. What, what do you mean? Let's show that, too. All right, so I just stir fried some vegetables, OK? And I'm getting ready to throw this uh, spaghetti squash in here. This spaghetti squash is it's banging, though. It's hot. So I'm forking it out. I'm, you get the two gloves. No, 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 no. It's cool. Um, I'm getting ready to fork out this spaghetti squash. I don't want to. Let me see. OK. 
Okay, there you go. So y'all can see what this joint look like. And so we can ready to fork this out. I'm gonna throw it in with these vegetables. So I did some onion, garlic, celery, broccoli, red peppers, and I'm gonna do this spaghetti squash right here. Bang. Bang, look at this. Wow. This is slim. That man. looks just like spaghetti. Yeah, pasta. Yeah, pasta. So your favorite, you like noodles. I like noodles, pizza, like noodles. tofu. I wish I could plate this for y'all, oh. but I may not have time to do that. But Will you share this recording with us afterwards? I couldn't, I couldn't join jot. jot your great recipe. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dang, look at this. Look at this. Okay. Can I have this for lunch tomorrow? <laughs> yes, you're going to have this for lunch tomorrow. So okay. tomorrow. Oh, so this is all for me for lunch, Wow. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm, I'm willing to try this spaghetti squash. You're willing to try the spaghetti squash? Yeah. Look at that. Big piece of garlic. I'm going to turn you down a little bit. Okay. We're going to give you a little bit of run oh, as we close great. this out. Awesome. i got to take a picture. One second. No, don't take a picture. I'm going to take a picture. One second. Yeah. Okay. My mom will take pictures of everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely true. She got that one right. Got this. So we're going to toss you lightly in the flour. Wait, what's that? It's cauliflower. That looks nice. One, two, three. Wait, what are you putting in it? Um, I'm deep frying it. I'm putting in a little bit of oil. Oh. So All right, hold on to the I think I need to Oh, okay. Yeah, what? let's have that. Where's the Where's the restaurant located? Uh, so a restaurant is located in North Utah Street, Eastern Avenue. No, not Eastern Avenue. Eight forty. Eight forty North Utah Street, on uh, Martha King Boulevard. Near, Near Martha, Martha Luther King, King Boulevard. Boulevard. Mm -hmm. And what's the website? Landacush dot com. Uh, 849 Street, Baltimore, MD, yes. LandaCush.com. Another question. Uh, thank you. My question has to do with the technique used for the centane. Oh, I, okay. I watched videos on the rinse method or using pure gluten. Which do you prefer? Oh, okay. So you got that great question. That's to do uh, with the technique used for the centane. I've watched videos on the rinse method or using pure gluten. Which do you so prefer? I like to use the the um the gluten the uh the gluten flour the uh it's already like you can do the rinse method it's just about your timing though like how much time do you have to do that you know what I'm saying but if you get if you already get the whole wheat um the gluten flour then you know what I'm saying like it's already done for you and then you can you can mix it up yourself and just add your seasonings to it Dang, look at you baby Look at you. Just okay. The, just the so cauliflower. That's, that's, yeah, show the cauliflower. Man, I like the I like the flour already up. done. Woo. Okay, I need that back. Okay. Where'd you go? That's a nice. Uh, that's nice. And I think we have a, I think we have a, a, a recommendation. That's a Q and A. That's a Q and A. Look at this. Thank you. Boy, I flip boy all the time. Boy, I flip boy. Ah. Uh, Maybe you should open a restaurant in Chicago. Yeah, we're actually going to take a trip out to Chicago this year. We're going to yeah, take a road that. trip. Yeah, I mean, you don't know everything. So we're going to see what's going on out there. Thank you Do for you have the a suggestion. steak recipe you can share? A oh. Saitan steak recipe. Wow. Uh, I, do, uh, I don't have one written down. I've done it before. And that's going to be the wrap for y'all. Um, I've done it before, but I didn't write down a recipe. So as you can imagine, like all my recipes aren't written down. Some things I just do by memory, like like this red lentil stew. I do it so much. It's just by memory. I just do it by memory. So bang, look at that. Flash fry. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. They're not getting I'm going to have this. a good, good, good time with that. Good job. Look at this. Wait, I mean, wait. Yeah. Okay. We're going to be, how long? Because we're going to be wrapping I'm it up. Done. Sure. Okay. Greg is done. Don't drop the pia. <laughs> Greg 
that Come looks really here. good. That looks really good. You know, I am definitely gonna have these. Definitely okay. with a sauce. So uh, these, these were, were deep, deep fried. fried. Yes, yes, they were deep fried. Mm -hmm. okay, this greens are done. Where are you put this one here? Now you can put those. Put those over there. Okay. Just get them out of the way for a second. Uh, this. This is too spicy. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that looks really good. Oh my gosh. On the greens? Yes, absolutely. Okay, come around here, grab this. Excuse me. All right, so that was the greens with the, the yellow peppers and the mushroom broth, and uh, so that's how it came out. And it's going to be incredibly good, I'm telling you. Trust me. Yeah, they're going to eat good. Let's see if I even get it. I mean, we usually do this an hour earlier, right? Seven o'clock is a little past our time. It's usually a six o'clock yeah. uh, thing. So we're usually done by, you know, by seven. Does sesame oil have a high cook point? Sesame oil, does it? Yes, it has a, I mean, it's not that high of a cook point. You know what I'm saying? Because it's already been toasted. But, um, well, the toasted sesame oil, but sesame oil in general has a high cook point, a decently high cook point. But I really, that's why I like sauteing because I like it really quick. I like it really, really quick. I'm going to let you cool out for a second because you can see this. Puppy is coming apart nicely. Come on. While he's working with, with that, um, Maryland Vegan Restaurant Week has been in effect since March 4th. And if you're in the area, you know, Baltimore City, surrounding areas, and some uh, Maryland areas in South, go to mdvgames.com and uh, check out a participating restaurant. It's running until March 27th, Sunday, March 27th. Don't forget to mention Farm. Uh, Farm USA, thank you again for giving us the opportunity to come on here and demonstrate how well Greg uses different techniques to cook us dinner each night. So I hope that uh, everyone watching um, you know, got some good information out of it. This is how we do it. This is, uh, this is not orchestrated. This is an everyday thing, just different, uh, food items. So, uh, you're seeing it firsthand. This is what, this is what goes on for, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, just different food items. And, um, if you have any additional questions, please let us know again. Uh, you can, Follow us on Instagram, and social media, media at the Land of Kush, and the website is landofkush.com. And uh, yes, yes. Bye. Bye, USA. yes, thank you again for to Farm USA. And uh, if you have any other questions, please, please stop by, stop by and see us. Feel free to reach out. All right. If there aren't any questions, we're going to wish everyone uh, a good night because we're, we're going to get ready to nibble on some stuff. It's a little late. Uh, to it's not eat. late for me. It is late. It is late. It's late. <laughs> you have piano. Um, all right. Bye, everyone. Have a good night. Any other questions? Are you good? Just want to say bye. Make sure you see my face again, landofkush.com. If you're in the Maryland area, go to MD Vegan Eats, patronize a participating restaurant. Um, we got some raffles going on, giveaways, and um, yeah, whatever you do, please be well and be safe. Thanks again. Peace. Uh, far. Bye bye.